10 Symptoms of Prediabetes Prediabetes is a situation where your blood sugars are higher than normal, but not high enough yet to be classed as type 2 diabetes. Approximately 1 in 3 people in the US actually have prediabetes, and 80% of these people don't even know they have it. For this reason, today we're going to take a look at the most common early signs and symptoms of prediabetes to watch out for. I'll also be sharing how to reverse prediabetes by using some very simple dietary changes and lifestyle actions. Risk Factors What you need to know is that prediabetes occurs when there is too much insulin in the body. People who are overweight, especially around the belly and the midsection, have a higher risk of having this blood sugar problem. Being over the age of 45 can also raise the risk and those who live a sedentary lifestyle and aren't active at least three times per week are also more likely to have prediabetes and blood sugar issues. And finally, women who have polycystic ovarian syndrome are also at a higher risk. Insulin resistance Both prediabetes and diabetes are caused by insulin resistance. This is a problem where your cells stop accepting insulin and sugar which causes excess sugar to start building up in your blood. This can be a genetic trait that's inherited from a parent, but most of the time it's caused by eating too many refined carbohydrates and refined sugars in your diet. High levels of prolonged mental emotional stress can also raise your blood sugars and trigger prediabetes, and also eating inflammatory vegetable oils too often, like soy, cottonseed, canola, etc. These are often used in the preparation of fast food, so you can see these can damage your cells and cause insulin resistance. Symptoms of prediabetes Now that you've got some background on prediabetes, let's explore the common symptoms to watch out for in your own body. Just a quick reminder, all this information is educational and it's not designed to diagnose your problem. For that, please speak with your doctor. One of the first signs of prediabetes is dark patches of skin. You may begin noticing darker, leathery skin appearing on the creases of your body, such as your neck, your groin or armpits. This happens because your blood has more sugar in it than it should, and it also has more insulin as a result. This insulin causes your skin cells to start multiplying too quickly, forming thicker skin and it also causes more melanin to be released, the pigment that makes these skin patches darker and browner in colour. Another very common early sign of prediabetes is blurred vision that comes and goes. You may notice that when you're looking at something and then suddenly the room becomes blurry when your blood sugars are higher than normal. Higher blood sugars causes the lenses of your eyes to swell with fluid and this causes blurriness in the field of vision and it can also cause changes in the shape of the eye, causing you to need glasses. This sugar can also cause damage to the nerves in your eye, and that's called retinopathy. Sign number three is also extremely common for those with diabetes and prediabetes, increased urination at night. Common in both prediabetics and diabetics, as I said, waking up many times during the night can indicate insulin resistance. The extra sugar in your body retains water in and around your cells. When you go to sleep, your kidneys have to work overtime to filter this extra sugar from your blood, which causes you to urinate more often. Uh, as a side note, this can also be caused by consuming alcoholic drinks in the evening. Sign number four to watch out for is an abnormal tingling sensation or numbness in your extremities. Higher levels of sugar in the blood than normal can also cause some damage to the nerves, particularly the nerves that are furthest away from your heart, like the feet and the hands. This sometimes causes a tingling, pins and needles sensation, especially in the little toe or the feet. By the way, all of these symptoms are reversible by making changes to your diet and lifestyle, and we'll talk about this more later in the video. Moving on to the next symptom, which is delayed wound healing. Higher levels of sugar in the blood also causes oxidative damage to your blood vessels. This can reduce the blood flow and the oxygen supply, especially to your skin, 
causing a cut, bruise or a wound to heal very, very slowly. Another symptom of prediabetes is feeling very thirsty even when you haven't eaten anything salty. As I previously mentioned, your kidneys work harder to filter out the excess sugar that's in your blood and this is a defence strategy used by the body. Glucose in the blood carries water with it, so you tend to urinate more often which causes dehydration and then you get the urge to drink more fluids through the day so you're more thirsty. Next up is sweet cravings, which are also a sign of prediabetes. Although most people get a craving for sweets and sugar from time to time, if you're pre-diabetic, you're more likely to have this every single day. If you notice that you excessively crave sweets after eating a meal, even when you're not hungry, this is a positive sign of some level of insulin resistance. As your cells are resisting insulin and the extra sugar in your blood, not enough fuel is getting into the cells, causing you to have this need for a sweet sugary burst of energy and usually junk food is the craving, not a lovely piece of fruit. Number 8 is also very common, new feelings of anxiety. Anxiety is a natural part of life. A little stress is good for the body as long as it goes away again. However, if nothing has really changed in your life, yet you have begun to suddenly feel anxious, especially one to two hours after you eat, this could indicate prediabetes or high blood sugars. Prediabetes affects the way neurons communicate in the brain, causing chemical changes which trigger feelings of fear and anxiety that comes and goes. You may also experience what they call hunger anger or being hangry when you don't eat because your blood sugars tend to fall faster because of the insulin resistance. Symptom number 9 of prediabetes is new clusters of skin tags. Most people have a skin tag here or there, but if you notice that you're growing more of these in like a cluster, this could be a symptom of prediabetes. High levels of insulin in the blood caused by prediabetes may be allowing a certain virus that lives in most people to come out of remission called HPV. This can cause new skin tags to form and even warts may begin appearing on the skin in some people. And another very common sign of prediabetes is excessive fatigue. If you're getting enough rest and sleep, but you still feel exhausted and fatigued, this may also indicate prediabetes. This happens because of fluctuating blood sugar levels that are rising or falling uncontrollably, which depletes vital nutrients like vitamin B1, leading to tiredness and excessive fatigue. Now we're going to move on to the section on how to reverse prediabetes. 1. The root cause of prediabetes is usually consuming too much sugar and processed grains in the diet, so you want to start cutting out the sugar, the flour, bread, biscuits, pastries, soda drinks, biscuits and also fruit juices. Replace these very refined foods with more whole foods that will help to control your blood sugars and nourish your cells. Avocados, wild salmon, pasture raised eggs, grass fed beef, cruciferous vegetables, carrots, tomatoes, etc. These should be your choices. 2. Take a daily supplement of chromium picolinate at a dosage between 200 to 1000 micrograms per day. Chromium is a very special trace mineral which helps insulin and glucose to become more sensitive in your body so that it can be moved out of your blood to reverse the condition. It also helps your liver to produce glutathione this is the master antioxidant which can also help to reverse prediabetes. 3. To burn off the extra sugar that's stored in your blood, you'll need to start working at improving your activity and start doing a little exercise. This doesn't have to be vigorous, long walks are actually the best option since they help to lower your blood sugars and relieve stress which is also a source of high blood sugars. Four. To prevent prediabetes from worsening into type 2 diabetes, I recommend that you start consuming more anti-diabetic herbs and spices such as cinnamon, garlic, turmeric, ginger, gymnema, berberine or bitter melon. These all act as natural medicines for the pancreas, helping to make insulin more sensitive so that it may remove the extra sugar from your blood. Five. 
To prevent prediabetes from worsening into type 2 diabetes, begin timed eating where you eat all of your food for the day in a very strict 8 hour window, only drinking water outside of these hours. This rapidly normalizes your blood sugars and your insulin levels, but it may take a little willpower. 6. Stop grazing and snacking and start eating 2 to 3 solid meals in your eating window. Grazing and snacking bombard your cells all day long with fuel, which can cause insulin resistance and prediabetes. 7. If you're under a lot of emotional stress, be aware that this may be affecting your blood sugars. Start to manage your stress by getting more sleep, winding down, journaling, using meditation, or doing box breathing where you breathe in to a count of four, hold for a count of four, breathe out for a count of four, and hold for a count of four. Repeat this for five minutes daily to lower your stress. And eight, eat lots of organic cruciferous vegetables on a daily basis, such as kale, collard greens, broccoli, brussels sprouts, cabbage, and cauliflower. These are all loaded with two key minerals called potassium and magnesium, which both are very important in reversing insulin resistance and regulating your blood sugars. If you'd like more information on this topic, tap on the video that's on your screen now or use the links below. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video today and as always, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.